coming to you live from the heart of Paris, France. From the prestigious Salle Playel. The best FIFA Football Awards 2022. Dear guests, please give a warm welcome to your hosts tonight, Jermaine Genus and Samantha Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Uh, well, good evening, everyone. We are thrilled to be here with you tonight in Paris for the best FIFA Football Awards 2022. Now, this evening, we are honoured to be in the presence of the world's greatest players and coaches for a very special ceremony. But let's begin with some words from our hosts. Please welcome the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So, dear ladies and uh, gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue, bienvenidos, bienvenidos, <laughs> willkommen, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Paris, to this beautiful city. Welcome uh, to an evening where we will celebrate football to a night where uh, we celebrate the best. We celebrate the players, the coaches, those who make our hearts beat. And uh, welcome to those who are here. Welcome to the millions who are following us from uh, home for this fantastic evening. Of course, we are celebrating as well, us, the fans, because we will as well celebrate the best fans of the world who are the soul and the life of football together with uh, those incredible players and legends who are here who make us emotion every day. And what a year did we have? The last year we just uh, experienced the best World Cup ever. And let me once again thank uh, Qatar, shukran Qatar for hosting, for welcoming the world, for uniting the world in what was an incredible event, which uh, we will never forget. And also this year is a World Cup year. We have the FIFA Women's World Cup later this year in Australia, New Zealand, and you are, of course, all invited for that as well. Now, football is joy, football is happiness. Uh, sadly, as well, in the last year, we had some sad moments we lost some of our friends and let me just uh, remember with uh, some emotion Sinisa Mihailovic, Gianluca Vialli, their smiles, their courage and let's remember as well uh, the king Ore Pelé. What can we say about uh, Pelé? Pelé is football. Pelé is simply football. And we lost him, we miss him a lot, but Pelé is eternal. He's with us, he's always with us. He will always be with us. And I would like to thank the family of Pelé for being with us here tonight. Muito obrigado pela vossa presença. Thank you so much. And uh, with this emotion, I wish you a wonderful evening. Enjoy it. Enjoy football. Enjoy this celebration. And uh, back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you President Infantino. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Pele's extraordinary career spanned over three decades, and he scored a remarkable 77 goals in 92 appearances for Brazil. Jogar futebol 
foi um presente de Deus. Se você treinar, se você se preparar, você vai ser sempre melhor que todo mundo. Os jogadores iam embora do, dos treinos, liberava todo mundo. Eu pegava a bola e ficava batendo falta, ficava controlando a bola. Eu sempre aproveitei esses momentos para aprender mais. Eu, em 1950, eu, que eu me lembro, entrei na minha casa e perguntei para o meu pai, ah, por que, que você está tá triste, por que você está chorando? Ele, ah, eu estou chorando, o Brasil perdeu a Copa do Mundo. Falei, ah, pai, não, não chora que eu vou, vou ganhar uma Copa do Mundo, professor. Com o Santos, viajando em todo o mundo, eu tive uma experiência que nenhuma escola, nenhuma universidade... Às vezes, os gols que a gente faz não são tão lembrados como algumas jogadas. Nunca me preocupei muito com essa coisa de, de ser famoso. E o dono do Tribuel? O dono do Tribuel? Bateu com o DB, acorda do Tribuel. Keep training. O Brasil já tinha sido bicampeão. 58 né? e 62. Em 1970, eu já era o jogador mais velho. Foi uma Copa muito, muito importante para mim. Sem dúvida nenhuma, das quatro Copas, essa foi a Copa que eu mais, que eu considero a melhor Copa para mim. As despedidas, sempre para mim, sempre foi muito difícil, porque. Parece que a gente está sempre perdendo uma coisa importante. Eu acho que a gente deve saber quando parar, né? Eu dei tudo, tudo mesmo na minha vida ao futebol brasileiro, à seleção brasileira. E entendi que agora chegou a hora de eu deixar. Well, Pele is the only footballer to have won three FIFA World Cup titles. And joining us tonight is another Brazilian who conquered the world with the Seleção. Please welcome Ronaldo Fenomeno. Hi, good evening, everyone. It's always a pleasure to be here. Oh, thank Take you for care. joining us. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. having me. Uh, Ronaldo, just give us um, a feeling of what Pele meant to you as a person. Well, talk about Pele is, well, I will say in Portuguese, is too much for me. Quando eu lembro do Pelé, eu vejo um jogador muito à frente do seu tempo. Um atleta que serviu de inspiração para mim e para todo mundo do futebol. Nos anos 50, ele já era moderno. 
chutava com as duas pernas, saltava mais alto que os outros, controle orientado, fazia gol de bicicleta, de cabeça, já pedalava e era extremamente inteligente. É, eu também me lembro dele como um amigo querido. Quando eu tive a minha primeira lesão no joelho em, no, em 2000, ele me visitou em casa, levando muito amor e carinho, num dos momentos mais difíceis da minha vida. Dois anos depois, ele estava presente em um dos momentos mais felizes, quando eu e meus companheiros conseguimos conquistar a Copa do Mundo do, da Coreia e do Japão. O Pelé também será lembrado pelo impacto na sociedade. Quando ele jogava, o mundo era um lugar ainda mais racista do que é hoje. Ele, um atleta negro, se tornou o rei do esporte mais popular do planeta. Mostrou que o negro pode ser melhor, pode ser mais bem sucedido e pode vencer o racismo. Essa luta ainda não acabou, mas peço que todos se inspirem no exemplo do rei Pelé, para que combatamos o preconceito. Pelé foi o maior dentro de campo e teve um impacto gigantesco na, na sociedade. Esse legado será eterno. Descanse em paz, meu amigo. That was beautifully put. Thank you very much, uh, Ronaldo. Uh, now, in honor of Pelé's unrivaled achievements and to re receive a very special award, we would now like to invite his wife, Marcia Aoki, onto the stage. President Infantino, would you like to do the honors with the trophy? Well, a very special best award for uh, Ray Pele. You want to give it? It's, it's too heavy, so I will hold it for <laughs> Good evening. It's a big honor to be here at this magnificent FIFA's tribute to Edson Pele. I have three words to say to God. God gave us Edson. To Edson, that gave us Pele and to the world who received them so well. And my three words are grateful, grateful, and grateful. Merci. Thank you so much for your beautiful words. And as Ronaldo so beautifully said, Pelé leaves an eternal legacy on football, and the world's best players continue to be influenced by the king. Isabella Pagliari has been joined by some of these iconic players in the audience. Over to you, Isabella. Thank you, Sam. Good night, everyone. It's a huge honor to be joined by one of Pelé's teammates who won the 1970 FIFA World Cup with Pelé, the Brazilian legend, Jairzinho. Boa noite, Jairzinho. Obrigada. Uma honra falar com você. Você conviveu tanto com Pelé. O que fazia dele um jogador fora de série? Boa noite a todos presentes. É, estou muito feliz em ouvir o reconhecimento 
de um dos maiores artistas do futebol de todos os tempos. Tenho que dar parabéns a ele e agradeço a ele por me dar a oportunidade de viver com ele três Copas do Mundo e aprendendo com ele tudo o que ele fazia com muita naturalidade, muita inteligência e que levou o Brasil a ser bicampeão do mundo, a ser tricampeão do mundo. No tricampeonato do mundo eu participei com ele de diversos momentos, desde o primeiro jogo contra a Checoslováquia até o último jogo contra a, a Itália. E foi, de fato, um momento especialíssimo para mim, como homem que ele sempre foi, que o Pelé não era somente, perdão, um grande jogador. O Pelé era o espelho de todas as condições que um atleta tem que desenvolver. O atleta tem que cuidar dele na própria parte física, parte mental, e que levava justamente ele a desenvolver a arte de poder fazer os gols como ele fez, e que me alegra muito e me deixa muito feliz por essa homenagem que nós estamos proporcionando a ele. Muito obrigada, Jairzinho. Thank you so much. Now let's talk to Carly, who won two times the World Cup with the United States. How did Pelé inspire you? Well, I uh, wasn't lucky enough to be born early enough to witness Pelé playing on the field. Um, Pelé not only transcended, transcended the sport globally, uh, but he played for the New York Cosmos, and I grew up in New Jersey. So when I grew up as a little girl playing soccer at the age of five, I always remember hearing about Pele, the number 10, the famous number 10 jersey. And he ignited a boom in America for, fo for football. And so because of Pele, people jumped on board and the sport became popular. And I was blessed to be able to play for 34 years. So he had a huge impact on America and uh, very grateful and thankful for that. Thank you so much, Carly. Thank you very much, uh, Isabella. And also, um, thank you so much, Marcia, for joining us, uh, us on stage. It was a real, real honor for us to share that special moment with you. So thank you very much. Now, Pele knew how to strike the right chords on and off the pitch. So it's fitting that we get to admire his footballing artistry in tandem with a very special performance from the acclaimed Brazilian artist, Sao Jorge. Passou, passou Eu vou embora Meu tempo acabou Tem muita coisa para Descobrir Eu sinto muito Mas tenho que ir Vou pro mundo Porque nada mais me prende aqui É o final do show E não fique magoada Porque eu vou parar É só o jeito que eu sou ch 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 changes lá Vem meu trem, vem meu trem Sei que tá na hora e agora eu vou me dar bem ch 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 changes lá Vem meu trem, vem meu trem Sei que tá na hora e eu vou me dar bem Sempre em frente Nunca pra trás A vida assim permitiu Só vou procurar fazer amigos do bem Em precisar ajuda também 
E agora a liberdade no horizonte Que só você não sacou Nova York, Ipanema, por Hong Kong Por aí que eu tô Tchê, 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 diz lá Vem meu trem, vem meu trem Tô saindo fora porque agora vou dormir bem Tchê, 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 diz lá Vem meu trem, vem meu trem Senta na hora e eu vou dar bem Eu sempre em frente Nunca pra trás Livre eu me sinto sublime É gente e mais gente O sol e o mar azul Tchê, 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 diz lá Vem meu trem, vem meu trem Tô saindo fora porque agora vou me dar bem Tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê-tchê
You okay? You got a hand? <laughs> oh, Good <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I really wouldn't have won this dress if I thought that was going to happen, because that was uh, really painful. Um, I don't really, I don't really know what to say. Um, thank you to everyone who voted for me. Um, I feel really honoured to be uh, holding this really heavy <laughs> trophy. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to my loved ones who have picked me up off the kitchen floor to be here today. Not specifically tonight, but a few years ago. Um, Thank you so much to all of my teammates. Without this, this wouldn't be possible. The, the coaching staff at Man United and England, um, but particularly Ian Wilcock and Darren Ward, who I'm pretty sure deserve a trophy of their own for putting up with me every single day, because that isn't easy. Um, Serena, uh, I've, I've run out of words to, to say thanks to you for the opportunity you've given me to chase my wildest dreams and for believing in me in the way you have. Um, and yeah, I'd, yeah, this is for anyone who's ever been in a dark place. Just know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Keep going. You can achieve anything that you set your mind to. Sometimes success looks like this, collecting trophies. Sometimes it's just waking up and putting one step in front of the other. Um, there's only one of you in the world, and that's more than good enough. Be unapologetically yourself. Thank you, everyone. Mary, thank you so much. Everybody, the best. FIFA Women's Goalkeeper for 2022, Mary Epps. Cool. Are you going to help thank me down? You. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll help thank you, you down. Thank you very Those much, Tobias. I'll help you down. And Didier Drogba. There you go. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. And thank you to Didier. Thank you. Such a gentleman, aren't you? I try, Sam. I try. <laughs> what can you do? I try. Uh, well, in 2022, the goalkeepers excelled in the men's game and on the greatest stage of them all. At the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, they were often the heroes. Most definitely. Three world-class performers are all vying for the same prize. But the big question is, who's going to be crowned the best FIFA men's goalkeeper? Well, here are the three nominees. Top performances there. Definitely. And to reveal the winner, please welcome Eniola Aluko and Julio Cesar. Welcome to you both. <laughs> and the winner is World Cup winner. Emiliano Martinez. <laughs> Uh, 
bueno, obviamente es algo muy lindo para mi carrera, obviamente todos saben, capaz que es mi historia, eh, es un orgullo para mi país, obviamente ganar un mundial después de 36 años es, es algo hermoso, obviamente la gente sabe lo, lo, lo posenal que es, que es ser argentino y poder levantar la Copa del Mundo, la verdad es algo hermoso para todo el país, especialmente el año que veníamos pasando económicamente como país. Eh, sentimos esa conexión con el país y es un orgullo. Obviamente mi familia, gran parte de esto, eh, la gente de Aston Villa, Selección Argentina, obviamente de Scaloni que me dio la, la posibilidad de jugar para la selección, era el sueño de toda mi vida. Eh, mi mujer que me acompañó a todos lados. Eh, nada, obviamente siempre me preguntan quiénes son tus ídolos en la vida o qué arquero vos mirás cuando sos chicos. Y yo siempre digo, ver a mi mamá limpiar edificios ocho o nueve horas, eh, mi papá trabajar, la verdad, mis ídolos son ellos. Gracias a todos. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Please show your appreciation for the best FIFA men's goalkeeper for 2022, Emi Martinez. And of course, thank you to Enio Luco and Julio Cesar. Thank you very much. Really beautiful moment. Uh, well, it's now time to revel in the world of goal scoring and appreciate the extraordinary. Yes, we saw some stunning goals scored in 2022, and we're very excited to show you all 11 nominees for the FIFA Pushkash Award. So please sit back and enjoy. When you wait in your temptation and all your things are packed. Waiting for the moment when you know you're never coming back ever again And I can't pretend that that's not fear When everything you knew is already gone And everything I was something it was nothing all along I can't pretend Not fear. I said you divide this hell.
Wow. Some great finishes there. I think we all enjoyed that. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, well, as this game is uh, all about finishing, let's be honest, it seems only right that we invite two outstanding goal scorers to reveal the winner. So please welcome Carly Lloyd and Alessandro Del Piero. <laughs> welcome back. Nice to see you again. Thanks, <laughs> And the winner is Marcin Oleksky. Dzień dobry wszystkim. Miło was widzieć. Ciężko mi nawet było sobie pomarzyć o takiej nagrodzie. Dzisiaj stoję przed wami. Odbieram nagrodę za najładniejszą bramkę na świecie. Dedykuję tą nagrodę Ewelinie, Tomkowi, Tosi, po nim po wypadku wstałem, podniosłem się i jestem w tym miejscu, gdzie stoję przed wami i strzelam tak piękne bramki. Dziękuję również całemu środowiskowi futbolowemu, bo ktoś stworzył tak piękny sport, jakim jest sam futbol. Możemy się spełniać. Także dziękuję wam bardzo. Thank you, Marcin. Thank you. Thank you. Just... Thank you. Just wait here one second, though, Marcin, because your goal got the biggest cheer in the room. So I think it's only right that we have another look. What do you think? Let's have another look at this goal. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Sheer perfection. <laughs> the winner of VP for Push Cash for 2022, Marcin Alecki. Thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you to Carly Lloyd and to Alessandro Del Piero for your assistance. Oh, what's about that for a finish? Oh my gosh. Right, recently we have seen football soar to new heights. We enjoyed FIFA tournaments around the world as our beautiful game went to the United Arab Emirates, Costa Rica and India before the most compelling FIFA World Cup of all time.
What a sensational year we've had so far. Uh, well, we now turn our attention to the masterminds of football, the coaches. Yes, there is a great leader behind every successful team, and the three tacticians who have made the shortlist all led their teams to glory in 2022. Here are the three nominees for the Best FIFA Women's Coach Award. Right, and to make the handover of the Best FIFA Women's Coach Award for 2022, we are delighted to be joined by two exceptional guests. Yes, please welcome Jill Ellis and Christo Stoichkov. And the winner is Sarina Wiegmann. <laughs> Thanks for putting this lower. Uh, thank you very much. Um, from I Could Walk, I love football. And over the years, I've seen how the women's game grew, how it developed, and it's just incredible to be here right now and to celebrate women's football in the world. Um, so we have heroes now, they're all in the room. Um, little girls have their idols. They, they're in, they have inspirations and um, the development of the game. So many people across the world have worked so hard to get the game where it is right now. And I would like to thank the people for that because that gives the fundament of the women's game. But the growth of the game has also a couple of dangers. Because we want to go faster, we want to go bigger. Uh, the players become better, the facilities become better but the dangers we have to take care of too. And yes, we want to develop, but we also have to do the right things. And I hope, and we all have, everyone who's part of the women's game has the responsibility for that, that we are competing on the pitch, but off the pitch we should be a team and we should work all together to grow the game even more. So um, I hope we'll do that together. Um, for me, back to the summer, the Euros have been incredible in England. We have, um, well, the, the stadiums were full, Wembley was full, and there were so many families in the stadiums and they were all celebrating football. And um, we, as the English say, we brought it home. And behind um, me, of course, there's a big team. I would like to thank all the players, these incredible people, but great players, because without great players, you're never, you're, you're nowhere. I would like to thank the staff, 
um, who are always behind the scenes, you don't see them, but they have such a big impact on the performance of the team. I would like to thank the FA, who made me work with the best people and who gave us the best facilities to perform at the highest level. And I would like my management, because after the year, so many things came on my path and they took away so much pressure from me so I could perform at my highest level too. And um, last but not least, um, I would like my family. They're here, Martin, Sasha, Laura, my daughters. They've seen me more on TV than at home. But um, thank you for always supporting me. Ik hou van jullie. And I enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that very important speech. Serena Wiegmann, congratulations on being named the best FIFA women's coach for the third time. And of course, thank you to Jill Ellis and Christo Stoichkov. One more round of applause, people. Come on. Here we go. Thank you. All right. Uh, so the best FIFA men's coach uh, for 2022 is our next award. And one of our three nominees will join an illustrious list of former winners. Yes, Thomas Tuchel, Jurgen Klopp, Didier Deschamps, Zinedine Zidane and Claudio Ranieri have all won this award. These three nominees all led their teams to glory in 2022. Well, we have two more footballing legends to help us announce the winner this time around. Please welcome Gael Nganamui and Fabio Capello. The winner is Lionel Scaloni. Congratulations. Bueno, buenas noches a todos. Agradecer eh, por el premio a todos, especialmente que es un premio eh, que lo votan los, los futbolistas y para mí eh, tiene un valor enorme. Agradecerle a los jugadores, a esos 26 que nos llevaron a la gloria. Eh, sin ellos no hubiéramos podido conseguir nada. Eh, estoy eternamente agradecido eh, al presidente de la AFA por darme la oportunidad de, de ser entrenador de esta selección maravillosa. 
eh, a Pablo Aymar, a Roberto Ayala, a Walter Samuel, a Martín Tocali, al profe Luis Martín, a Matías Mana, a Rodrigo Barrios, todo mi cuerpo técnico que más que cuerpo técnico son amigos, eternamente agradecido. Y como siempre digo, eh, no hay cosa más linda que ver feliz a tu gente, a tu país. Ver esa gente emocionada en las calles, eh, disfrutando, y no tiene, no, tiene, no tiene precio. Hemos jugado para ellos, han jugado para ellos los jugadores, y estamos eternamente agradecidos. Ese triunfo es para ellos. Y por último, a mi familia, a mi esposa, a mis hijos que están acá, y a mi papá, a mi mamá y a mis hermanos que están empujando en mi pueblo. Muchas gracias a ellos que que gracias a ellos soy lo, lo que soy, y a todo nuestro país. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Congratulations, Celina Oscaloni, the 2022 best FIFA men's coach, and thank you to Gail and Fabio. Okay, in November 2022, the world waited in anticipation for the start of the FIFA World Cup. And from the first ball that was kicked, we were all propelled onto an emotional roller coaster. Tonight, the stage has been set here in Paris for another epic journey as we relive the drama that unfolded in Qatar, the most entertaining FIFA World Cup we've ever seen. Please welcome Sidek Waf and his troupe of performers. Ladies and gentlemen, Sadek Waf and his troop of performers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let's shift our attention to a very unique award, the FIFA Fair Play Award. Now, this is an accolade which recognizes exemplary behavior within the global footballing community. Uh, so these are the nominees for the best FIFA Fair Play Award for 2022. In June 2022, France played Ukraine in an under-21 European Championship qualifier. Following the game, Eduardo Camavinga, on behalf of the team and the French Football Federation, visited the Ukraine dressing room to offer a gift and words of support. Following the heartwarming act, the Ukrainian players and coaches broke into a round of applause to show their appreciation. Back in February 2022, Wolfsburger defender Luka Lokoshvili was labelled a hero after his quick thinking helped save the life of Austria Vienna star Georg Tegel. Lokoshvili sprang into action after Tegel fell to the ground unconscious following a collision. Sensing the seriousness of the situation, Lokoshvili reacted immediately to prevent Tegel from swallowing his tongue. Bayern Munich's impressive 7-0 victory over VfL Bochum in August 2022 will leave a lasting memory, not only for the scoreline, but for Sadio Mane's classy gesture. The Senegal star inadvertently scored a goal with his hand, but immediately reported it to the referee, an action that was warmly appreciated by the supporters. truly special award. And to reveal the winner, we are delighted to be joined by two more legends of the game. Please show your appreciation for Fromiga and Ali Day. is Luca Locosville. Well, unfortunately, Luca is unable to join us here in Paris tonight, but we are thrilled to be able to have him join us on a video call. How are you doing, Luca? Congratulations on winning the award. What does it mean to you to receive this? Uh, hello, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry that uh, I cannot attend the ceremony because of tomorrow's game. Uh, for the award, of course, it's a huge honor for me. I would like to say thank you uh, for this award, for this uh, respect. Uh, I'm really happy, but uh, more happy I am that we, I save George's life. And the most important in the football is fair play and respect. So I'm really happy that he's alive and now we feel good with the family and I wish you to all good health in the life of what is the most important besides the football. Uh, well, Luca, yeah, you're right. Uh, Luca, it's an incredible gesture. So well done again. Thank you very much. And we will make sure that this award arrives to you safely. So thank you very much, Luca. Thank you, thank you. And a huge thanks to Formiga and Ali Dai for joining us here on stage as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we all know that football is all about the fans, and without them, we wouldn't have the passion and emotion that makes our sport so unique. This is right. Uh, well, our next award is the FIFA Fan Award, which recognises those individuals that have that passion for their team that is taken to the next level. These are the three nominees for the FIFA Fan Award 2022. When you run it, I need to get unstuck, so cause. Abdullah Al Salmi walked across the Arabian desert to reach Qatar and support his national team. He combined his passion for hiking and football by undertaking his most ambitious trek yet. A 1600 kilometer walk from his home city Jeddah in Saudi Arabia to Doha. A journey that took a remarkable 55 days and was rewarded with a famous victory over Argentina in the group stages. 
Talking of Argentina, their fans travel to Qatar in impressive numbers to provide incredible support for their team. A journey which ultimately ended in an unforgettable victorious FIFA World Cup campaign. The images of the Argentina fans will be one of the lasting memories of 2022, as will the pictures of the millions of fans who then welcomed their heroes home to Buenos Aires. Japan fans earned respect around the globe for their tradition of staying behind after the full-time whistle to help clean the FIFA World Cup stadiums. They even did this after the disappointment of their penalty shootout loss to Croatia in the round of 16. Their impeccable behaviour throughout the tournament was a remarkable example to football fans all around the world. And we are very excited to invite our next two guests onto the stage for this award. Please show some appreciation for Andreas Cantor and the FIFA Global Fan Ambassador, Adriana Lima. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be part of this celebration. To me, the life of football are the fans. So let's honor their passion. Tonight, the best fun award will go to... I'm shaking too, guys. <laughs> Maybe you can help me. <laughs> go. Uno, two. No. You get to dance tonight and sing. Argentinian national oh, team fans! Muchacho! to receive this award on behalf of the Argentinian national team. Fans, is Tulo Bombo. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Thank you for joining us. And the Tula. Felicitaciones, Tula. Oh. Oh. I think we've got a surprise. Después toco. Yeah. Yeah, let's play. Bueno, como argentino estoy muy contento porque lo llevamos todos los premios. El, el Nivo, el Scaloni, el Messi. Bueno, somos los mejores. Ahora yo como hincha estoy muy contento porque yo soy el primer bombo de la historia del mundo, 74 Alemania. De ese, moment, de ese día histórico allá, hasta ahora estuve en todos los mundiales, Copa América, bueno, he recorrido el mundo. Y la satisfacción que me dio la Argentina como hincha de fútbol no tiene, no tiene precio. En esta última oportunidad, este, yo estuve en, to, en, los tres, en, los, en los tres que fuimos campeones, pero en esta última oportunidad que lo dio acá eh, el más grande jugador del, del mundo, Messi, el mejor entrenador del mundo, Scaloni, y el mejor arquero del mundo, Lippi, Dibu, <ríe> es emocionante. Y bueno, eh, y yo como soy el primer proyecto para terminar con la violencia que hubo en el, en el año 74. Y estoy muy contento, emocionado, y a esta altura tengo 82 años, estuve en todos lados, mi vida, bueno, eh, soy pobre, pero he viajado por todo el mundo. ¿verdad? Bueno, muy contento y bueno, quisiera, no sé, eh, mandarle un saludo a todos los hinchas del mundo 
en todos los hinchas del mundo, que, que por, por el fútbol, la pasión del fútbol es, es impresionante. Y la pasión de los otros argentinos también. Yo soy un hincha más argentino que vengo a representar a todos los hinchas, los miles de hinchas que estuvimos alentando a, las, a nuestra querida selección. Y los millones de argentinos que estuvieron festejando el triunfo de la Argentina. Porque la, la Argentina estaba un poco triste y ustedes, muchachos, de la selección y le dieron una alegría inmensa al pueblo. Y eso, se lo, se, qué sé yo, se lo damos, se, estamos muy contentos, estoy emocionado, va, no sé, no sé ya qué hablar. We definitely saw the Argentina fans bring so much noise oh. and colour to the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Please show your appreciation again for Tula Bombo. <laughs> and again, thank you so much to Adriana Lima, Andreas Canto. Thank you. Those fans were iconic, though. They were. They were, they were. They were absolutely sensational over in Qatar. I love him. That brought some energy to the room, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> There he goes, Tolo. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have celebrated the individuals that have taken football to extraordinary heights, but it's time now to celebrate the collective because it's time to reveal the FIFA Fifth Pro Men's and Women's World Eleven. Yes, all of these players have been handpicked by their peers. The only global award decided exclusively by footballers. To help reveal the two teams, we'd like to invite the FIFA Secretary General Fatma Samora and FIFA President David Aganzo to the stage. Thank you so much for joining us. Just like to I'm always standing, huh? <laughs> stand right here. Thank you. So here are the 11 best female players on the planet. The 2022 FIFA FIFA Women's World 11. The FIFA FIFA Pro Women's World 11. In goal, Christian Endler. <laughs> In defense, Lucy Bronze. Maria Leon. Leah Williamson. Wendy Renard. In midfield, Alexia Puteas. Kira Walsh. Lena Oberdorf. In attack, Alex Morgan. Sam Kerr. Beth 
Mead. The FIFA FIFPRO Women's World Eleven. A remarkable team, and we are so honoured to have so much talent with us tonight. Please show your appreciation for Lucy Bronze. Yeah, thank you very much. Christian Endler. Let's now welcome Beth Mead. The very talented Alex Morgan. Maria Leon. Please show your appreciation for Alexia Puteas. And Wendy Renard. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations again to the 2022 FIFA FIFA Women's World 11, and what a World 11 we have! Congratulations to you all, Beth. Uh, I'm going to start with you. What a sensational year uh, you've had of 2022. Absolutely brilliant. Um, what does it mean to you to be a part of this group of players? Yeah, there's a lot of players here that I've looked up to for a long time. So, yeah, to be still on the stage next to them is yeah, a huge honour for me. Uh, and Lucy, yourself, I mean, you, you've played with a lot of these players already, but this would be some team if you managed to play together, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, lucky me that I've been able to play with a lot of these players or play against them, but yeah, some team that we would make, I think uh, anybody would struggle to beat us. I agree, I agree. It's fair to say we have 11 <laughs> exceptional players from so many different nations. Everybody, the 2022 FIFA FIFA Women's World 11, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Okay. Here we go. Go ahead. Brilliant. Uh, well, what a fantastic team. Eh? They all sparkled in 2022 and we're seeking for more glory this year, I'm sure. Yes, the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup is now only five months away and an epic festival of football is guaranteed in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, let's join Isabella, who is with the only person who's won the FIFA Women's World Cup twice as a coach, Jill Ellis. Over to you, Isabella. Thank you, Sam. Jill, how excited are you about the, this year's FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand? Well, I mean, you can just see with the array of talent that it's going to be an exceptional World Cup. I mean, it'll be so competitive, 32 great teams. But, you know, I think the fans come to see the players and these players are exquisite. It's going to be fun, packed houses. I think it's going to be the most competitive World Cup we've seen. Thank you. And now that we know all 32 qualified teams, what can we expect from this year's major showpiece? 
Oh, I thought you were going to ask me who was going to win. Um, well, if, you, if you want to say. No, no. It's, well, I just think, again, we're going to see, you know, every time you have a World Cup, the game continues to evolve. So I think the level of tactics, the coaches, we've got an exceptional group of coaches. And I think the fans down there are going to embrace this and show up. Uh, I think it's going to be an incredible tournament. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Jill Ellis and Isabella. And a little reminder for everybody, the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup kicks off on the 20th of July. Yeah, it sets up to have an incredible year ahead. Uh, now, 2022 was unforgettable, and there were so many outstanding moments. These are the 11 best male players in the world, the 2022 FIFA Fifth Pro Men's World Eleven. The FIFA FIFA Pro Men's World Eleven. In goal, Thibaut Courtois. In defence, Ashraf Hakimi. Joao Cancelo. Virgil van Dijk. Field, Kevin De Bruyne. Luca Modric. Carlos Enrique Casemiro. Attack Lionel Messi. Kylian Mbappe. Karim Benzema. Pro Men's World 11. I think we can all agree that's a dazzling array of talent, and we are so thrilled to be here with so many members of this exquisite team. Let's welcome Casimiro. Let's welcome Ashraf Hikimi. The sensational Kylian Mbappe. Uh, the one and only Lionel Messi. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Let's now welcome Virgil van Dijk. What a fantastic team once more. Let's say congratulations to the 2022 FIFA FIFA Men's World Eleven. Uh, well, again, some unbelievable players, great talent. <laughs> Virgil, I'm going to start with yourself. Um, an incredible 2022. It was kind of a so near but yet so far type season for yourself. But some of these players here, I'm sure you wouldn't have minded playing behind and trying to win a few more trophies. Yeah, um, obviously, first and foremost, proud, grateful, blessed. I can, I can say a couple of things, but those are the, the, the feelings that, I'm, that I have. Um, you know, it's been a, it was a interesting year. We played all the games um, and we were competing for all trophies until the last day of the season and very close. Unfortunately, we, we couldn't get it done, but still very proud, very proud to be part of this football club. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. And I think this is the, the biggest recognition you can get because you get voted by your peers, you get voted by the, the, the players you play with and, and, and know what you go through day in, day out and, and, and play on the same level. So uh, yeah. proud. Great, well done. And to Casimiro, congratulations on yesterday, winning your first trophy with Manchester United. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, attacking players here. Even your fullbacks, they like to get forward. So you're going to have to do a lot of defending in this team. <laughs> bon, um... Sem dúvida, uma equipe bastante ofensiva. Bom, porém, com, com a qualidade de tantos jogadores assim, sem dúvida, é, ia ter a bola todo jogo, então não ia ter problema de defender muito. Acho que ia ter bastante, bastante tempo com a bola, não ia ter tanto problema para defender. Ok, what a team. Once again, congratulations to an exceptional selection of world-class players that any coach that would love to lead. <laughs> the 2022 FIFA FIFA Men's World Eleven. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And a huge thank you, uh, thank you to the FIFA... Uh, generous, uh, sorry. The General Fatou Samora <laughs> and the FIFA Pro President David Aganzo. Got there in the end. Okay, it's now time for another special moment here in Paris, performing We're the Best, the official song of the FIFA Football Awards 2022. Please welcome the legendary multi award winner, Red One, and the sensational up and coming singer songwriter, Angelina Jordan.
driving thunderstruck Check me as I move, walk out in the rain Don't call it puppy love Just like Peter Pan, I never change Thank you so much. What a performance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Red One and Angelina Jordan. OK, so we are so honoured to be joined by Footballing Royalty tonight. And our two remaining awards are for two exceptional individuals. We will start with the best FIFA women's player of 2022. Some of the greatest female players of all time have received this outstanding accolade. But who will be next? These are the three nominees for the best FIFA Women's Player of 2022. Uh, and to announce the winner, we are delighted to welcome back onto the stage the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino. Thank you very much. So, the winner, and uh, officially the best of the world is Alexia Putellas. Felicidades. Congratulations. 
congratulations, Alex. Buenas noches a todos. La verdad no me he preparado nada. Muchas gracias a, a todos los que habéis votado. Primero quiero también dar eh, la enhorabuena. Congratulations for Alex and, and Beth Mead. Also you, you deserve this. Also. Um, voy a empezar eh, agradeciendo a mi familia, por supuesto. Hoy no han podido venir, están en, en casa eh, toda mi gente. Eh, por supuesto a mis compañeras, eh, el cuerpo técnico, al club, por supuesto al presidente, eh, todos a los que estén aquí. Eh, y toda la gente que trabaja en el club también. Um, pero sobre todo quiero acordarme de todas estas personas que han estado... Eh, todos los días, eh, no solo ahora, eh, durante toda mi vida, que gracias a ellos pues, soy lo que soy ahora, ahora mismo, soy un pedacito de todas esas personas que me he ido cruzando por el camino y también a todas esas personas que, que tienen un sueño. Eh, con esto eh, espero que quede eh, visto y, y reflejado que que si lo tienes y, y lo sueñas muy, muy fuerte, lo trabajas, trabajas el camino, eh, lo puedes conseguir. Y lo más importante, disfrutar el camino. Muchas gracias. Congratulations to Alexia Pateas, the best FIFA Women's Player for 2022, the second time in a row. Congratulations. Come here, I hope you. Jermaine, being the gentleman as ever. They're going to take care Mr. of Mr. President, if you could just stay with us on stage as well, okay. yes, please. We need you. <laughs> now, Sunday, the 18th of December 2022, will be remembered as the most epic FIFA World Cup final of all time. Titans of the footballing world collided in Qatar in a dramatic showdown. Two nations chasing the same dream, a third FIFA World Cup crown. Cette grande finale entre la France et l'Argentine. Oh, un petit pour l'Argentine. A qui viene Messi. Va Messi. Messi va. What an epic night. 
Uh, well, well, President Infantino, what a final that was. Just to, just to finish off and cap off what was already a sensational tournament, it's got to go down as, as one of the best. Absolutely. I, I think the best final ever of the best World Cup ever. Incredible drama. The whole World Cup was, uh, was fantastic. Teams from five continents reached a knockout stage. Drama, surprises, goals, uh, plays. The final, I mean, you cannot, you cannot beat that. A great French team, uh, Kilian, all the others, magnifique, Felicitation, and Argentina, world champion, I mean, uh, in an incredible, incredible way until the last second of uh, the tournament. Yeah, it was absolutely sensational and perfectly put. Uh, well, to bring an end to a stunning night of football celebrations, we will now honor the best male player on the planet the best FIFA men's player for 2022. The list of previous winners is absolutely astounding. Robert Lewandowski, Lino Messi, Luka Modric, and Cristiano Ronaldo. This year's shortlist is phenomenal, and all three of our nominees are undeniable greats. Uh, so, FIFA President, could you please reveal the winner? Yes, I can. So, the winner and uh, officially the best player of the world, el mejor del mundo, Leo Messi, campeón del mundo, Argentina. Felicidades. Bueno. <risa> bueno, buenas noches. Eh, no se pone más nervioso lo que estoy. Eh, bueno, antes que nada, decir que es un, es un placer volver a estar acá, volver a estar eh, entre los tres, estar con Benzema, aunque no está, estar con con Kilian, que los dos tuvieron un, un año grandísimo, así que, que es un honor para mí volver a estar en, eh, en esta gala y, y poder ser el ganador. Quiero agradecer obviamente a, a mis compañeros. Eh, hoy estamos acá Scaloni, el Dibu, y nosotros somos, estamos en representación de ellos. ¿no? Sin ellos no, no estaríamos hoy acá, como lo dijo mi técnico, como le dijo Scaloni, esto es parte de, de ello y es un reconocimiento a, a todo el grupo por lo que hicimos. ¿no? Eh, este año fue, fue una locura para mí, pude conseguir mi, mi sueño después de, de tanto pelear, de tanto buscarlo, de tanto insistir. 
al final, al final llegó y, y es lo más, lo más hermoso que me pasó en, en mi carrera. Creo que es un sueño para, para cualquier jugador y, y muy poco lo pueden conseguir y yo, gracias a Dios, lo, lo pude obtener. Y bueno, por último quiero agradecer obviamente a, a, a mi familia, a la gente de Argentina por haber, por haber vivido de la manera que vivimos ese mes tan, tan especial, tan hermoso y que va, va a quedar eh, de por vida en, en los recuerdos nuestros. Y, y nada más, eh, le mando un beso grande a mis hijos que están mirando, Tiago, Mateo, Ciro, los amo y, y vayan a Hormilla. Muchas gracias. And of course, a thank you to the FIFA president for hosting us tonight, Gianni Infantino. Thank you so much and congratulations again, Lino Messi. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, well, congratulations to all of our winners and nominees this evening, and thank you all to our special guests. Yes, what an incredible night we've had here in Paris. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, 2022 was an exceptional year, and the football in 2023 is expected to be just as extraordinary. It is indeed. Well, we have so many great FIFA tournaments to look forward to, with a major showpiece taking place in Australia and New Zealand. So get ready for the biggest FIFA Women's World Cup of all time and the first ever with 32 teams. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you very much.